Outside rural Goodfield, Illinois, is a pile of wood that weighs 4.5 million kilograms. Some people call it garbage, not Paul Weaver. I look at this as oil barrels stacked one on top of the other. It's a pile of energy. For several years, companies with industrial waste, like wooden crates, have used Weaver to cart the materials away. Weaver converts the wood into mulch, fuel, and other products that he can sell. My customers presently pay me to take the material and convert it into a value-add product. If I'm successful, I'll end up paying them. The secret to his success lies not in what he creates, but how he does it. An engineer by trade, Weaver is building a biomass recycling facility next to this massive pile of wood, out of nothing but recycled materials, including previously used concrete and shipping containers. For us to build this facility conventionally with concrete and steel and, and those types of uh, material would cost in the five to six million dollar range. We're gonna be building this facility for around one and a half to two million dollars. Weaver believes his facility is the first of its kind, which is why it was hard to sell the plan to local officials. We heard Paul's idea and we were skeptical because this is so innovative that we had nothing to compare it to. But Woodford County Board Chairman Stan Glazier says Weaver made him a believer by persevering. When the huge pile of debris started appearing, uh, that's when we started uh, maybe having some second thoughts about it. But as Paul was so determined that uh, he made believers out of most of us that it was going to come to fruition. The uniqueness of the fact that they're stackable. When it does happen sometime later this year, it will be with much of Weaver's own money. The grant for this particular facility only covers about 18% of the actual building cost. Um, so it, it was enough that I was willing to make the decision to proceed with the investment. But how do you pay for the rest of it? I'm making a large investment. Really? Yeah, this is my, my project. This is my, I, I don't have investors. I don't uh, have other people helping me. This is my project. Weaver hopes the project eventually sets an example for other biomass recycling centers that can be built anywhere in the world preventing millions of kilograms of wood waste from being dumped into landfills. I'm not inventing the next hula hoop. Uh, this is something that's part of building a sustainable nation. And planet. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Goodfield, Illinois.